couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson right here on Lickin' Riff in which I'll show you something dramatically awesome. And I do mean dramatically. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that most of you have never heard of a drop E flat tuning, right? And by drop E flat, I don't, don't just mean that you tune the sixth ring down to E flat. Okay, instead of D, for example, we're all used to drop D. So instead of a whole tone, Okay, just half a tone down to E flat. Okay, but uh, for this tuning, you need to tune the E string, the first string, down as well, because if you have one E down to E flat, you need the other one from E to E flat as well. Okay, so tune the first and sixth strings down to E flat. But then you have another, another problem. Um, you can't really play this. What is this? This sounds... Awful. It sounds like an untuned guitar. Um, but if you put on a C chord, okay, and instead of two on the fourth string, you play one. So it's one, one and three instead of one, two and three. And don't worry, you don't need to put the whole chord. I'm just showing it to you to show you how it sounds. You get you get C minor, a dark rooting dramatic C minor chord. Okay? Now, the, the way to uh, actually use this is to uh, not play it as a chord. It's to play it for soloing and composition and improvisation and just a creative exercise. Because if you have a 0-1-3, On strings two to five, you have C minor. Okay? And um, those of you who are very, very keen eared have probably heard that the open B string is again that, that major note. So what is it doing here if we have a minor? minor scale. Well, this, first of all, adds interest, it adds chromaticism into it, the open second string, okay? And uh, it's technically a harmonic minor scale. If you don't play the three on the third string, so... Okay, so it adds more flavor to it. Now, um, what about the first and sixth strings? Okay, first of all, they're there uh, just to serve as the minor note. Okay, just the string itself. The sixth string okay, is tuned to E flat just in in case you make uh, uh, you know a technical error and accidentally play it. So if you play E flat, then it's not. You know, it doesn't uh, kick you out of the atmosphere because it's E flat now, not E. So that's the only reason we tune the sixth string down as well. Um, not the only reason, but the main reason. And if you want notes, okay, you have two and four, also five, okay, uh, same as uh, on the sixth string. So okay, you can also use both of them for soloing. Um, so, I suggest you just put a C bass on, three on the fifth string, and start exploring. Okay, at first it will feel weird, because uh, I'm pretty sure that you've never played C minor like this. So take your time and explore. didn't work. I needed to play 1-3 instead of 0-3. Ah, 
too used to C major, I played one on the E string, you see, you make mistakes. Sick of tired, uh, sick of tired, sick and tired of this chord. You can change to G, okay, by playing uh, four on the sixth string, okay, and then yeah, it's a little bit difficult okay, to maintain your little finger or pinky on the sixth string if you want to solo. Great practice. And then you just go back to C. Okay, so granted, this is a pretty limited thing. play the two by mistake you can utilize it and go back to minor Sixth string. You can bar one and play two on the sixth string for F minor. But then you need two on the E string as well, so you kind of have to, you know, just just push your finger above the A string, the E string, if you want to play. Or you can use two different fingers. Okay, so this actually really opens up your mind, kind of forces you to break certain habits that you have because most of us play the same major scale there. Uh, if you're used to playing finger style and playing C minor on the first three frets, that's just, uh, you know, it kind of breaks everything that you're used to. So this is also a terrific exercise in, uh, you know, in just uh, getting used to new things and trying new approaches to the guitar. So drop D flat and before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.